In this first experiment we're going to do, we're going to use Hooke's law to gather the data that we want to use to analyze and report and so on. Now, if you know about Hooke's law, that's fine. But if you don't, it doesn't really matter because that's not what the emphasis of the PRAC is all about. What we are going to look at is the process by which we gather data, analyze the data, and then report on the data. And underlying that, there's a pattern that you will see that runs through all the experiments that we do throughout the course. Now, to gather the data is quite a straightforward business. You have this retort stand, you have a spring, a little bucket and a meter stick like this, which you hold up and you can take the position reading of the meter stick. You add a little ball, you get a change in displacement and you're going to tabulate these changes in displacement. So that will give you the data you require. What we are trying to do is we're trying to get some information about this real world device over here. And we have, through this process, collected some data. These data are just numbers. The information that we want is hidden in these numbers. And the method that we're going to use to extract and report on the information is a very common pattern. We do that again and again and again throughout the whole process. So the first thing we'll have done is we would have tabulated the data. Exactly how you tabulate and how you write that up is all in the guide. Please make sure you read that. The next thing we're going to do is graph the data. Once again, how to do the graph, how to do the axes, how to do the titles, all of that will be in the guide. And here comes the key part. We're going to fit to these data, we're going to fit to this pattern, some known mathematical function. In this case, it's going to be a straight line. And we know that the equation for a straight line Having fitted this known mathematical function to the pattern that we got from the data, we're going to claim that this coefficient over here, the gradient of that line, represents something in the real world over here. It represents the spring constant. And then the final step in the process, of course, is to write it all up. Once again, I'd like to point out to you that all the detail on how to do this, tabulating, graphing, fitting and so on, has all been detailed in the guide. Please make sure that you read the guide carefully. Please make sure you to take all of these ideas on board. So to summarize then, we've started off with some real world device about which we want some information. We've collected data. We have used these data to present a graph. We have fitted to the graph some known mathematical function and then we have taken these coefficients and claimed that they give us the information that we want. Thank you.